um, who should come for dialogue. I think we know who should come for dialogue. We know who can come for dialogue. I heard the president say himself, um, Barry Sakemendez, Senator Kemendez said um, um, there was a question about who, and that, that has been thrashed. I don't think it's been thrashed, because even in offering this, the president still asked, le dialogue avec qui? But we know who are the leaders of this movement. They may be in dispersed ranks, but we know who are the leaders of this movement. They can be brought together. And even if they're not brought together, we know who are the top leadership of this movement. They are in, they are in jail. Most of them are in jail. Some are still free, but most of them are in jail. That's the leadership of this movement. You mean they should be brought out of jail? Of course. No, there is no somebody way. Somebody no, argued. No, no, let, 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 no let, let's be clear about something. You cannot throw an olive branch and brandish a gun. You cannot wave an olive branch and, bra and brandish a gun. Um, let me just give you an example. People said they, because the leadership has been disclaimed, um, it doesn't matter anymore, they can go to jail and they'll be quiet. You saw what happened after they, were, after, they were, after they were jailed, right? That tells you something. It is not about who is gesticulating, but you know who is leadership, what's happening on the ground. You know that that part of the country, the northwest and southwest regions, were grounded right after the sentencing of the leadership. Uh, so don't tell me that we don't have a leadership. We have a leadership. There may be other branches to it, but we know where the oh, root is. We know where the stem is. You are a man of law, Barista Kemendo, before being a senator. Now, he's talking about Ayuk Tabi Julius, who is in jail, uh, who was given the life sentence. But everybody, from what Dr. Ningonya said, Ningonya said in a TV program, everybody knows what Julius Ayuk Tabi wants. Yes. That is why... So can, can his views be represented there why the justice system is taking its course? The justice is taking its course. No. Can, I, can I just say something? The justice system is taking its... You know, let me just say, you, the, it's taking its course. You, are, you say it's an olive branch. You say you want reconciliation. And you are penalized. You're punishing somebody and you're going to consider his views for the same, the same views he expressed. You rather say that those views are anathema and we face the consequences or we say that we want to move the nation out of the doldrums and okay. face these things you can when you're facing them you are not denying them if you are in denial you cannot face them okay let's let me come back to you uh, barista Kemende. yes once more the question i asked you i said ayuk tabe is in jail yes this is a leader and some people are canvassing that he should have been freed for this dialogue to be very in successful fact. now can't he while the legal process is going on can't the dialogue be going on because everybody knows his own point of view and I heard Dr. Ningwanyam say that everybody knows what Ayutabi wants. Yes, and even some of the people who have been called by the head of state to come to dialogue, the separatists, they have been invited to a dialogue table. In fact, that's why the SDF, the Social Democratic Front to which I belong, uh, has made it clear that there must be an amnesty. There are some conditions, not, not really, let's not put it as if there are conditions that will guarantee. But they are enabling, the enabling environment for this dialogue has to be prepared. Barista, you are, you are economizing your words. No, you know, every, every, every time there is dialogue, there are preconditions. There are preconditions. So don't, 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 don't say it like you. You know, this dialogue has taken so much time to come, and even the people who have called for dialogue, they seem to be afraid of dialogue, so we don't want to frighten them. Suffice it to say, that in as much as we accept the dialogue, there are some preconditions to be met. Not as if it did they are not put in place the dialogue, uh, we, are, we are withdrawing, we are not withdrawing from any dialogue, but then some, for any meaningful dialogue to take place, there must be some, in, there must be that enabling environment to enable that dialogue to be really fruitful and respected by all the care they take. That enabling that environment is that we cannot be dialoguing while the military, they are still carrying out operations, like as we are speaking. Mr. Edwin, there are people dying in the field. The military is still carrying on operations on the same population that they want to dialogue with the leaders who have brought them to where they are. You see, in fact, Ayuk Tabi is the leadership of this, of this, of this, of this, and a struggle of what is going on the Anglophone crisis. And if the government took the measures to go right to Nigeria and illegally adopt them and brought back here and tried them and sentenced them, it means that they recognize that leadership. They recognize what they stood for. So why not, why not discuss with him? If you want to appease him, if you want to change his mind, it is only on a dialogue table that you can change his mind from being a separatist to maybe a nationalist, to maybe come back to the fold and see uh, how we can well, construct I mean, the, think, the nation think, without necessarily separating. That's, what, that's why this dialogue is called. It's a reconciliation, uh, some sort of dialogue equally. The dialogue will not end up necessarily with uh, the, the, the answer that some people expect. You can bring the separatists on the table. They can either convince you as to why they want that the country should be apart, or you convince them to stay on, and that is why this dialogue is all about. That's now, why the, it's question, all the question has been, I'll ask, I'll ask Dr. Ade, welcome to you, sir, to, to tell us the stages that this dialogue should, the form it should take. Now, but my question, too, is, 
if Ayub Tabe Julius is in jail, can't the dialogue continue in such a way that the people who are there can propose to the head of state? He has the power to so grant clemency, but he also allows the justice the no, to manifest. There are some there are some elements of good faith when you actually want to dialogue and you actually your heart is really with that dialogue. There are certain things that you do. Not because you like, but not because you, you really you feel obliged to do them. But because you have called for a dialogue. Calling for a dialogue means that you are somewhat psychologically prepared for the outcome of that dialogue. You are psychologically prepared to make peace. So that's why the SDF is asking for a ceasefire and then a, a, no, 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 amnesty to all those who are brought. Those who have do, those who escaped out of the country because of this crisis because the people who escaped because of this crisis who are today invited for this dialogue they are the same they committed the same offense for which the ones who have been uh, uh, in a sentence they have been sentenced so, so it's the same thing if you grant amnesty to the people outside it warrants that you should also uh, 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 release those who have been uh, who have been who have been convicted okay because they are convicted for the same offense for which the person you are inviting outside was originally is, is guilty of so they are of the same they are of the same the same the same level the fact that one is convicted and the other one is at large it doesn't make any difference they are all guilty of the same offense so if the people outside the diaspora have, have been invited and certainly there will be amnesty because you know without giving amnesty to without granting amnesty there is no way by which the diaspora who yesterday we were actually they were after them to prosecute whom if they came before this dialogue they would have been prosecuted there's no way by which they can come, come now, back to dialogue okay. come back to dialogue without, without, without what would be the form of what